The Cities of Sigmar Great to Glory continues and in today's video I try a few things on the Free Guild Marshal that didn't quite work out in the beginning but I was able to make it work out in the end. Stay tuned. I wanted to try contrast paints a bit more on this model so I went with a Corax white spray for the base coat and I started with Ultramarine's blue on the cape. It looked patchy at best when it dried so I gave it 3 more thin layers to see what happens but it still looked really patchy. What a start this is, so I'll leave it for now and I'll come back to fix it later. Switching to his clothes, I go with Wraithbone and it is easy to put on thanks to the Corax white base coat. Now this marshal is not officially part of Halia's army, he is part of the Fair Farrig higher ups and is more of a mentor to Halia. And to show that he is a higher ranking, I painted his armor slightly different than I usually would, so I painted it with Ironbreaker. And it seems to be slightly brighter than Lead Belcher. Another thing I did was I painted his gloves and boots with Doombull Brown instead of the usual black. For the handle on his Warhammer, again I went with a brighter colour than I'd usually go with, and I chose Balor Brown for this. For the decorative parts on the armour, I went with the brighter gold Retributor armour. And there's a necklace around his neck that I nearly missed out on, and I used Slanish Grey for the string. With the bases down, it was shading time, and I started with tracking off Nightshade on the silver armour. I was wanting to get this blue metallic sheen on the armour instead of just dulling it down. It turned out okay in the end, but in the future I'm going to have to work on this a little bit more to get it just right. I then go over the brown leather parts and the Warhammer handle with Seraphim Sepia. For his clothes, I use Apothecary White with some Lamb and Medium mixed in and shade the deeper parts. The gold was next and I picked out Reiklin Flesh Shade because it's not too dark for the bright gold. At this point, the cape was still bugging me and I decided to start fixing it. I took some McCraig Blue and heavily thinned it down because there was enough paint on it at this point and one thin layer gave it a solid base coat. I gave the face a thin down layer of Rackhart Flesh and based his hair with Mechanica Standard Grey. I then shaded them both down with Gullum and Flesh. I then started to wonder if I could give the S marking on his hammer some type of gold glowish look so I gave it a light layering of Retributor Armour. Moving on to the highlights now and apologies for the bad focus here but I started with all the silver parts and edged highlight them with Stormhole Silver. The gold parts were then very carefully highlighted with Liberator Gold. The clothes were highlighted with Pallid Witch Flesh and this is a great time to cover any of the Apothecary White if needed. His gloves and boots were finished off with Scrag Brown. And to finish off his face, I went with a thin layer of Reikland Flesh Shed just to darken it down a bit more to give him that rough aged look and then highlighted the very tips with Screaming Skull. His hair was then shaded again with Griff Charger Grey and highlighted with Dawnstone. To finally finish him off, I wanted to add a little something extra to the cape, so I tried blending in some lighter blues to its end. I wanted it to go from a Craig Blue, to Calgar Blue, and then to Temple Blue at the very tips of it. Blending can be really tricky to do, so there was a lot of back and forth between the layers, thinning down and mixing paints to try and get a good blend throughout. And although it's not perfect, it's a decent enough effort to make the cape pop out a bit more. I didn't forget about the Relic Envoy that accompanies the Marshal, and most of this kid was painted the exact same way, but I gave his face a lighter skin tone with Pallid Witch Flesh and Reikland Flesh Shade. For his hair, I based it with Avalon Sunset and highlighted the edges with Uriel Yellow. The final part was of the mummified head in the box, and there was only one shade I wanted to use for this, Plague Bearer Flesh. I've had this shade for a while and I think it's the first time I've got to use it properly. After two layers of dried, I added some flesh tears red into the eyes and the tips for the finishing touches. With another HQ model finished, the army is grown. The Free Guild Marshal comes in at 90 points. It's not a lot, but it puts a total painted for the army at 900 points so far. I'm just under the 1000 point mark, but there is a couple of big units left in the army to paint, and the next one is going to be the Fusil Major on the Ogre Hulk in the next video. So if you guys like this, make sure to let me know in the comments section, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. And once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.